My name isn't important now. What matters is the entity I unwittingly brought forth. All my friends said I needed mental help when I claimed to have summoned a vampire named Alucard. Foolishly, I believe they didn't understand my unique bond with such a formidable historical figure. They would have warned me to banish the so-called spirit back where it came from, had they known the true extent of our agreement. One day changed everything. During meditation practice surrounded by candlelight and incense, I whispered a chant hoping to connect with the enigmatic figure that granted me some semblance of self-worth. Suddenly the air cooled and... A Lucard appeared before me like a shadowy specter. I greet you, he purred, sending a chill down my spine. His eyes blazed crimson, contrasting sharply against his pale skin, as though absorbing all available light. My heart raced with excitement as I realized we stood face to face. He towered over me like an imposing statue dressed in Victorian attire, yet completely nonchalant about his sudden appearance in my basement. My shock shifted to indignation upon realizing how dismissively he regarded me. Alucard spoke as if rescuing me from boredom, rather than granting a wish which should warrant reverence instead. You mortals lack conviction these days. No wonder I remained confined. A sense of pride bloomed inside me. Perhaps my resolve impressed this undead prodigy. In fact, I grew emboldened enough to prod him for answers about the forces I managed to free. How did you know, and how long? Before I completed my question, he cupped my head firmly but gently, guiding my gaze towards his glowing left eye. Perception beyond sight. Time meaning less. The desire was too strong to ignore, and events transpired faster than my mind could register. Shell casings rained around us after deafening gunfire lit up the parking lot. People ran in every direction, unsure whom to fear more. Alucard or the police force approaching cautiously from the distance. Gripping my shoulder tighter, he leaned near my ear, saying only one word. Voice low enough not to disturb anyone else. Escape. Our abrupt separation triggered vertigo, during which flashbacks assaulted my senses. Disjointed memories mercilessly blended together into a monstrous puzzle demanding explanation. Struggling awake, drenched in cold sweat, chaos reigned supreme within the depths of my psyche. Sleep became scarce due to recurring nightmares. Coping mechanisms unraveled beneath expectations swiftly rendering previous certainties suspect. This ensnarement led me to disconnect from loved ones, changing aspects crucial to self-preservation. Normality drifted ever farther as tattered dreams urged me towards accepting the inconceivable truth behind recent traumas hidden behind subconscious barriers heretofore unbroken. Meeting Alucard lay atop an hourglass, rapidly running dry. Each grain symbolized another glimpse into the abyss awaiting capture. Dark whispers coalesced like sinister undertones beckoning introspection. None stronger or closer than others since they spun wild fantasies throughout many sleepless hours. Somewhere amidst turmoil, black male rooted within reason materialized after weeks, spent isolating myself. 
wishes cannot supersede natural laws anchoring on Woolhaven Farm, Patrick may have settled into my obsession, worshipping a Lucard just like I did. I worried a Lucard might think less of me, mere human insignificance next to a divine existence capable of inviting otherworldly souls home. Since Patrick struggled with allowing demons any freedom while ignoring the blessings gained from them, granting unimaginable desires. However, Alucard saved plenty of time and space for further explanations whenever I demanded them. Although Pat never confided anything directly, I happened upon observing awe on his features, accompanied by an uncomfortably obsessed twit. Most likely from possessing the same link between we two abnormal conduits. Patrick offered prayers daily at odd moments around the farm, entirely independent from his earlier devout stances. Regular disturbances midway through pastures found me empathetically joining him multiple times. The act itself opened doors prohibited prior, giving way to minor communication should situations arise with external beings without direct mention or consultation with each other. Whenever animals sprang toward Patrick seeking comfort, evading danger or otherwise conveyed needs, I immediately needs, I immediately knew, despite moving several hundred meters away from where we started checking fields, between worlds across layers of reality and dreams, constancy existed in some ways simply because we accepted that madness entwined us inextricably to one another as well as whichever interlopers force their presence into focus. Hopefully friends and family kept their good fortunes, even as omens forecasting strife multiplied tenfold taking aim, unfairly directed toward those deserving peaceful tranquility, instead of being marooned adrift my own tumultuous ocean-fetching notice once again. On Freedom Farm. Alone, that is since going cashless in 47, meant relatives, instead of easily disposable strangers, indulged in purchases dragging livestock stateside. Subjects there had already found rehoming within our realm, resurfaced guys under new affiliations serving my intentions. Change occurred right before your very eyes as subtleties matured over the passing months showcasing the first conspicuously tangible evidence exemplifying growing trust between our quintets, along with developed ambition fanned by oblivion's crushing winds and the ministrations increasingly, applied courtesy of Alberta's red handkerchief. Through targeted illuminations bestowed personally by Lydia beforehand, plus enhanced by chance encounters facilitated via fleeting chaperonage when assimilation required fostering acceptability among neighbors, familiation required fostering acceptability among neighbors' forged tethers, unbinding prejudices synthesis then enables calculated. Implementation, if synchronization, triumphs against alaracy and elements superior numbers warding off confides, ultimately venturing outside the safe haven perimeter itself. End footnote. Few months sifted through calendar pages, songs, far more profound notations, cataloging tremendous growth witnessed right alongside Tail's triangular circumstance, shoehorned together through bits of esoteric and non-reciprocal indifference, often left those congregated agape referencing. Copious nighttime philosophical escapades revealing naught save mysteries requiring sustained exploration undaunted, bound gracefully despite impending perils. Locked arm in arm, designed explicitly as soul-bound guardians, humbly flawed participants seek solace genuine trust lens, however. 
erratically littered through fictitious interactions, casting half-hearted light upon connubial embraces juxtaposed beside petty thorns harboring a clandestine society. All those counts account for little absent septenary concerns brimming with elegantly restrained intertwining dependencies, burrowing deep beneath the collective epidermis, transforming ordinary connections into embedded shields fortified through symbiotic allegiance, whereupon singular conscious. Actions echo overhead as murmurs culminate in combined harmony struck deliberately discordant, jarringly vulnerable. The nights grew longer, and the air became heavy with anticipation, as if the universe itself held its breath, waiting for the inevitable collision of destinies. Whispers of danger and impending doom circulated among the few who dared to delve into the mysteries surrounding Alucard and me. Rumors spread like wildfire, painting us as harbingers of chaos and destruction. I became a pariah, shunned by society while Alucard remained a shadowy enigma, always lurking just beyond the realm of understanding. As the veil between our worlds thinned, the malevolent forces that Alucard had unwittingly unleashed grew stronger, their presence seeping into every crevice of reality. Strange occurrences plagued the land, nightmares plagued the innocent, and darkness swallowed the light. It was during one moonless night, as I wandered the desolate streets, that I stumbled upon an ancient tome hidden in the depths of a dilapidated bookstore. The book radiated an otherworldly aura, drawing me closer with an irresistible pull. Its pages whispered secrets long forgotten, promising knowledge that could tip the scales in the battle against the encroaching darkness. Guided by an unspoken instinct, I immersed myself in the book's cryptic texts, unraveling ancient rituals and incantations. The words danced before my eyes, revealing a glimmer of hope amidst the encroaching despair. Days turned into nights, and nights into sleepless haze, as I delved deeper into the forbidden knowledge. With each passing day, I grew more attuned to the dark forces that threatened our existence. It was as if the book had become an extension of my being, merging my consciousness with the ancient powers it contained. Alucard, too, sensed the growing tides of darkness. Our encounters became rarer, but whenever we crossed paths, his crimson eyes burned with an intensity that mirrored the world on the precipice of annihilation. We no longer exchanged words, but communicated through a shared understanding, a silent path to stand against the encroaching evil. Armed with newfound knowledge and a sense of purpose, I rallied those who still believed in the power of light. Together, we formed a resistance, a beacon of hope in the face of imminent despair. Our numbers were few, but our conviction burned brightly, unwavering in the face of overwhelming odds. The final battle drew near, a culmination of centuries, old vendettas, and a struggle for the very essence of existence. The forces of darkness amassed, their ranks bolstered by unspeakable creatures and malevolent spirits. It was a sight that would send the bravest of souls fleeing in terror. But we stood firm, determined to protect the fragile threads of reality. As the battle raged on, the air crackled with energy and the clash of weapons. 
the forces of darkness unleashed unimaginable horrors upon us, their relentless assault threatening to shatter our resolve. Yet we fought on, fueled by an unyielding determination to safeguard all that we held dear. In the midst of the chaos, I caught glimpses of Alucard, his figure darting through the melee with supernatural grace. His presence was both awe, inspiring and terrifying, a testament to the power he wielded. Together we fought side by side, our actions synchronizing seamlessly as if guided by an unseen force. At the climax of the battle, when the forces of darkness seemed poised to claim victory, Alucard unleashed a surge of power that eclipsed everything around him. The ground trembled beneath our feet as a blinding light erupted from his being, consuming the darkness in its wake. When the light faded, the remnants of the malevolent forces lay scattered, their power extinguished. The world breathed a collective sigh of relief. The wait. For just $3 a month, you can have your name featured in my YouTube videos and descriptions. Not only will you be supporting my channel, but you'll also be immortalized in the credits of my content. If you're looking for something a bit more personalized, consider becoming a $25 a month patron. I'll voice your stories and bring them to life on my channel. Create a special drawing just for you, or even write a unique story tailored to your interests. So don't hesitate. Join my Patreon community today and help me keep the spooky stories coming. And remember, together we can save you each other from the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for your support.